still? MOBA Enjoyer Detected oh. How do you learn new champions? A few minutes with them in the practice tool, sure, but then what? How do you then learn skill builds or itemization? Open op.gg on a different monitor while you play? Ridiculous! Check out how Dota 2 does it. Dota has a system called Hero Guides. Just choose your hero, select a guide, and start the game. The Hero Guides will highlight suggested abilities for you to level and items to buy. Well, at least until you learn to itemize on the fly. Now that you know what hero guides are, may I present Tsar Potato's league-friendly hero guides. I've chosen what I think are the most accessible Dota 2 heroes for experienced league players, and made a bunch of hero guides tailored to your skill set. They'll tell you how to level your skills, what items to buy, and I've added text to your tooltips to describe things in more familiar terms. Some heroes like Drow Ranger and Queen of Pain will be immediately recognizable, while others on the list might rely on your prior league experience to pull off their combos. Best of all, these item builds will have much fewer active items than most out there, to be better suited for players coming from league. Trust me, I've coached a hundred of you before. I know that item use is a struggle. Some of my guides have branching build paths, so you can kit your hero out in the way you want. Anyways, to sell you on the idea, let me show you just a couple of heroes from each role and what makes them so fun to play. With some of the heroes, I've included what champions I think they play like. I've also included links to everything in the description of this video. Do go and check out my other comparison videos out too. But for now, let's get started. The infamous Dota 2 Sniper. He combines the attack range of Caitlyn with the attack range of Jinx to give you attack range incarnate. Replace Ace in the hole with an unblockable AWP. Give him misfortunes make it rain with a truly absurd cast range. And you got yourself a late game powerhouse. He's strong in teamfights and weak versus assassins. Phantom Assassin is a crit based ADC that can't be seen until she's right on top of you. Not to mention, she moonlights as Neo without 50% evasion. She's strong in 1v1s and against squishies, but weak versus tanks and crowd control. The carry with the big sword, so it actually has perfect cleave, able to hit everything in front of him for equal damage. Ready. 
Did I mention that his ultimate is triple damage buff that lasts half a minute? His only weakness is getting kited. Zeus is just easy mode Karthus. The ult is instant, your spammable wave clears point and click. Yes, I am holier than thou. And your slow is auto targeting. He's purely artillery though, and in the mid game can do this. He has percent HP damage and true sight, and is pretty much good against everyone at a distance. I fear no man, but that thing. It scares me. No, I, I, ain't, I ain't talking about that freak, alright? He's not here, is he? How do I get this fucking thing off? Viper is perhaps the most abusive lane bully in the game. Ranged, lots of damage and slow, and a defensive passive lets you win pretty much any trade. Best of all, you get to abuse the creep aggro rules of Dota 2. You see, in Dota, doing damage with an ability does not trigger any aggro, only auto attack commands do. So, by casting your Q, your acid attack modifier, as a spell, you can effectively auto attack the enemy for free without creeps hitting you back. If he tries to attack back, your creeps will join in the fight. It's borderline unfair how easy it is to win the lane. Viper is strong versus immobile enemies and weak versus long range. It says here you can heal allies. Yes. And it says here that you heal yourself. Yes. So you're a healer. Yes. So support? <laughs> Necrophos is a tanky anti-tank with percent HP damage around himself. Your nuke is also a heal, and last hitting gives you regen. By last hitting heroes and creeps, you can maintain pretty high regeneration, especially after you get a few items going. Your ultimate is an execute, helping you last hit and supercharge your regen. He's strongest versus tanks, and weak versus magic damage. Hold up, guys. I gotta take a piss. What? Centaur is the most basic tank the game has. He has an AoE stun, an AoE nuke, and a permanent Ramus damage return. His ultimate is a global allied speed boost. Just run in there, cause chaos, and that's about it. He's strong versus fast attackers, and his main weakness is actually bad allies. グレーターハードにエブンリーオーラ。アブショーブショ。ペネトレートアップ。グレーターマジックシールド。まだエッセンス。トリプレットマキシマイズマジック。エクスプロードマイン。トリプレットマジック。グレーターマジックシール。トリ
He is strongest against enemy ADC and weak against anti-tank specialists. Hey, thanks for watching my video so far. I hope to make this video a core resource for new players. If you want to help with that, could you like, sub, share, comment, do, do the things. Thank you so much. Now back to the show. Get ready for the next battle. Tidehunter gets really tanky against enemy melee ADCs. He has insane damage reduction from attacks, has Dr. Mundo's go where he pleases that triggers on damage, and a screen-wide stun. My favorite part is becoming immune to creep damage at level 3. His weaknesses are both magic damage and damage from a distance. That's how we do! Pure skill! Ogre Magi has a point and click stun and a point and click dot, and he can crit spells. It's great fun to randomly do a thousand damage for no reason. He's a lane bully, and that's it. That's all you get. Go try him out. Are you tired of playing Lulu and doing no late game damage? Is your lane partner ADC Ash going Thornmail? Stop playing those weak support champions and go play Skywrath Mage. He does damage. How much damage? All the damage. Go play Skywrath Mage today. No, but seriously, Skywrath Mage just shits out damage. No survivability, weak crowd control, but a wise man once said, the best CC is death. He's strong when not attacked, and weak when attacked. Yep, it's Zeus again, but this time as a support. In Dota, your position is mostly reflected in your itemization. Almost every hero I've listed so far can be viably played in multiple roles. Zeus, for example, does plenty of damage with low economy, and has multiple sources of true sight to kill enemy wards and invisible heroes with. With this percent HP damage, he never falls off in the late game. Hey! Yeah? What the hell is this? Oh, you didn't really give any specific guidelines about mating. Sometimes you just want to play an enchanter. If what appeals to you is spamming heals and shields on people, try out Abaddon. Imagine Soraka and Lulu had a baby boy. Point and click heals, shields, and cleanse. Oh, and your ultimate gives you one of the best survivability tools in the entire game. You're an enchanter that's impossible to burst out. And if you get farmed enough, you get a team-wide semi-invincibility button. Your only true weakness is allies that run away from your cast range. Volunteer. Death photo. Ventral Spirit's ultimate lets her swap places with any other hero in range, giving her one of the strongest saves in all of Dota, or a way to reposition enemies into your team. To round her build off, she has a point and click stun and AoE armor and damage reduction reliable offensive tools that scale throughout the match. You're strongest with other aggressive lane partners, and weakest with allies that have main character syndrome. Welcome to our meeting of ice pun addicts. Would anybody want to start? I am the dead of winter. Stay frosty! What's a little frost among friends? That's quite a freeze frame. Here's frost in your eye. Frostbite. Stopped cold. Froze your assets. Fortune favors the cold. 
Frostbitten, twice shy. Oh, um, Lich, it's... Cool! Lich is the embodiment of AoE slows. His nuke AoE slows, his shield also AoE slows, his ult is a brand ult with slow on contact, and he can buy another slow in the Aghanim's chart. With plenty of damage and disengage, Lich's weakness is enemies that don't care about being slowed. All of these hero guides and links to more can be found in the description of this video. Want to see more? Why not try a few guides yourself? The game's free anyway, and so are my guides. If you're just starting out Dota, remember to do the tutorials first. If you want more help, my servers constantly got coaches volunteering their time to help out. I'm one of them. Don't forget to like and sub and make me famous by sharing and stuff. If you're a Dota player, perhaps this video will come in handy when you want to introduce your league friends to Dota 2 someday. If you're the intended audience, good luck and have fun.